with Chief Meteorologist Derek Beasley. We had a great weekend weather-wise. It was phenomenal. It really was. You, knew, you mm -hmm. told us it was going to be that way, and it was. It was just spectacular. Very low humidity, and, yeah. and that's really a good thing, of course, considering what we're going to be dealing mm -hmm. with here uh, the next several months, of course. So anytime temperatures do crank up and the humidity gets a little bit higher, things get a little uncomfortable out there. But, boy, it certainly was a fantastic weekend across the Gulf Coast. Lots of sunshine, no rain on live pinpoint Doppler. Here's the scene down in Gulf Shores, and as you can see, Everything looks uh, quiet down there after a busy weekend across the area. You can see uh, they're beginning to take things down, take the stage down, the tents and the fences away. And the cleanup continues down there after a busy hangout music fest for the past uh, four days or so. And that sunshine continues across the area. 81 in Mobile, same thing Pensacola, the warm spot. 86 in Evergreen, forecast through midnight. Calls for a clear sky. Temperatures last night dropping to the upper 50s. Looks like tonight will be right around 60 degrees uh, for tomorrow morning. Still comfortable. Humidity will start creeping up a little bit by the end of the week. I don't expect it to get too bad, but we are starting to get into that summer-like regime here across the area, and we do expect the temperatures to creep up. We're going to see low 90s here by the middle to end of the week, as early as perhaps Wednesday, but certainly by Thursday, Friday into the weekend, we're going to see those highs getting up to around 90 degrees, perhaps a little bit higher than that. Well, why is it getting so warm? Well, the reason why we were cooler than average at the end of last week into parts of the weekend, we were under the dip in the jet stream here. This is where all the cool weather is, and that's what we had to deal with across the mid-Atlantic and the northeast. The jet stream buckling way up in the Canada, that warm air actually causing a hump in the jet stream. And notice here, that's where all the orange and red is. That big area of high pressure is actually going to strengthen and slide over the Gulf Coast here through the middle part of the week. It'll be centered right over the area through the end of the week and the weekend. That means two things for us, dry weather and warmer temperatures, so we do not have any rain chances in the forecast through at least Saturday, and also those temperatures are going to be cranking up here around 90 degrees. RPM model shows what's going to happen here. Just a few uh, high clouds overnight tonight and perhaps some passing morning fog out towards the west, but really other than that, not much going on. Just a little bit of higher humidity here through the middle to end of the week. Cloud sunshine expected each afternoon. Temperatures tomorrow mid-80s. By Wednesday, upper 80s to around 90, and then we're expecting some of the warmest temperatures Thursday, Friday, into Saturday. It does look like the high pressure, though, will start weakening or breaking down here by later in the weekend, and that may allow for a couple of storms to try to pop up across the area, but at the earliest, that will not be until Sunday or Monday of next week, and that chance looks less than 20%. Pinpoint predictor shows the temperatures overnight tonight dropping back into the 50s and 60s. Some uh, temperatures around 70 at the coast by afternoon. Inland sections mid to upper 80s. Across coastal sections, though, with the sea breeze kicking in during the afternoon, only into the lower 80s. Beach forecast for tomorrow looks fantastic. Water temperatures into the mid to upper 70s. Surf running about 1 to 2 feet. Low rip current risk with a southeast wind 5 to 15. Hour by hour, this is what you can expect. Through noon tomorrow, about 81. And we're going to go with about 86 for tomorrow afternoon. 7A forecast, a little warmer on Wednesday, 87. We're going to go with 90 on Thursday, 92 on Friday. So the toastiness has arrived. We've been waiting for it. It is finally here. But the good news is the humidity should stay at a bearable level here through the weekend. Here it comes. Yes, you know it's coming <laughs> it at some coming. point. So I hope you enjoyed the cool weather yeah. while it lasts. All right, Derek, thanks. Yeah.